हेलो किड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सेवेंथ क्लास साइंस लेवेंथ लेसन रेस्परेशन एन ऑर्गेनिजम्स क्वेश्चन आंसर्स लेट्स स्टार्ट इम्प्रूव योर लर्निंग फर्स्ट वन फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स एंड गिव रीजन्स डैश आर रेस्परेटरी ऑर्गन्स ऑफ फिश सो इन लेसन वी हैव सीन दैट रेस्परेटरी ऑर्गन्स ऑफ फिशेस आर gills okay gills are the respiratory organs of fishes in a cockroach a network of dash is found network of respiratory tubes is found dash are found on leaves for exchange of gases on leaves we have stomata which exchange gases okay stomata are found on leaves for exchange of gases okay next second one Identify the correct one. Give reasons. The process of gaseous exchange is nothing but what respiration, circulation, digestion, inhalation. The process of gaseous exchange is respiration. So we inhale oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide. So that process we call it as respiration. So that is nothing but exchange of gases. Okay, we are taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide. So exchanging the gas. Okay, we are exchanging oxygen and carbon dioxide gases. Okay, so exchanging of gases is nothing but respiration. Plants respire through. So plants in plants respiration takes place through which part? Already we have seen in fill in the blanks just now. That is nothing but stomata. Okay, plants respire through. stomata next one which of the following animals respire through skin and lungs fish frog snake earthworm so which one will respire through skin and lungs that is frog okay frog respires through skin and lungs what will happen when you blow air into the test containing lime water what will be happen if you blow air into the test containing lime water so in a tube if you have a lime water and if you blow air into that so what will happen it will turn milky white why when you blow air that carbon dioxide gas will come out and when it is when it mixes with lime water it turns the color to milky white Okay, so C is the correct answer. Remains same, turns to blue color, turns to milky white, becomes colorless. So turns to milky white is correct answer. C is the correct answer. Next fifth one, respiratory organs of cockroach, lungs, gills, lenticels, trachea. So what are the respiratory organs of cockroach? Trachea. Okay. already reasons are here given here just uh, we'll go through it first one exchange of gases takes place only in respiration by the oxidation of food material second one plants only having min minute pores called stomata which helps in exchange of gases third one frogs can respire through lungs and skin in rest both hibernation and aestivation frog lives in burrow of the soil there it respires through skin and respired by lungs in water as well as on land lime water turns into milky by the action of carbon dioxide exhale air consists more carbon dioxide respiratory system of cockroach is a network of trachea known as tracheal system they breathe an oxygen rich air through spiracles which open into the tracheal tubes okay these are the reasons let us see the third one what is respiration how is it different from breathing respiration it is an oxidation of food to form carbon dioxide water vapor and energy it is a biological process energy is released in the form of atp 
enzymes are involved in this process breathing it is simply an intake of fresh air and removal of foul air it is a physical process no energy is released rather used no enzymes are involved in the process okay next fourth one frogs breathe through their skin as well as their lungs explain frog breathes with its lungs when it is on land when it goes deep underground and sleeps twice every year its moist skin takes over the function of its lungs okay when it is on land it breathes to breathes through lungs and when it is when it goes underground then the skin takes the functions of lung okay the skin acts as a lungs means it starts breathing okay next fifth one if you want to know about actions of gases in lungs what questions would you like to ask the following questions i would like to ask see this here i am giving some questions you can write this answer by your own okay you can ask you can frame your questions by yourself okay but for example some questions here i am giving you can frame it yourself also what will happen to the gases in the lungs how are the gases transferred to different parts of the body in return what comes to the lungs how are the gases returned to the lungs so you can add some more question also if you have any questions okay sixth one if you did this experiment of respiration with fruits and dry leaves instead of germinating seeds what would the result be explain in dry leaves respiration do not take place in fruits also this biochemical process ceases seventh one it is very interesting to watch fishes in an aquarium make your own bottle aquarium so this you do by yourself okay take a bottle get some fishes pour some water and keep the fishes in that bottle okay so that you can make your own aquarium next one eighth one asif wondered how plants and animals which live under water also respire do you know why he wondered some plants can survive under water taking the oxygen dissolved in water some animals living under water have special respiratory organs to take in the dissolved oxygen in water thus plants and animals which live under water can survive next ninth one imagine the lungs and size of elephant is there any relation between body size and lung size collect information from school library or internet answer the elephant is the only mammal whose pleural space is absent the lungs are most elastic and are connected by connecting tissues to thorax and diaphragm its wide capacity of air filling is 310 liters for one breath the size of the lungs is always proportionate to the size of the body of all terrestrial animals whose respiration is pulmonary the elasticity of the elephant lungs is more convenient to the movement of the body absence of pleural space helps in adjustment and applying negative force on lungs when the trunk raises up to the maximum height next tenth one do you find any relation between plants and animals by their respiration and photosynthesis respiration is observed both in plants and animals 
photosynthesis is the process we observe in plants by this process plants prepare their own food animals cannot produce their own food they depend on plants and animal and other animals oxygen is given out in photosynthesis, photosynthesis and photosynthesis occurs in the daytime oxygen is taken in respiration and energy is released so the, these are the differences between plants and animals respiration and photosynthesis okay by this we complete this lesson question answers in next video we'll see the next lesson question answers till then bye kids have a nice day